Hello, I'm Atuba George. Welcome to the month of November. Praise God. Now, this is a very, very special month. And I'm going to tell you why. You see, God has commanded us to, in this month of November, release or activate the Hushites and the Esthers in our nation. Now, that's very, very important. Very important, like I've explained in, in, in the video most of you must have watched. Very, very important. Now, that's why this week I'm going to be uh, doing a teaching on the Hushites um, Hushite and Esther, so you have a perfect understanding. And then as we begin to pray every night together, you will understand what we are doing. So I'm going to take out this, this week and see how the Lord will help us to really look into the life of who's Hushite. What, what does it mean when God says release the Hushites? Who's Esther? What does God mean when he says release or activate Esther's? very important that we have an understanding of these things now i want to thank those of you that uh, have joined us already in this prayer i mean those of you that joined us for the prayer meeting on the first it's you see you the things we spend time to pray about we are seeing the results we are seeing the result. So that's why it's important. Now, now I'm inviting you if, you, if you have not made up your mind already, I'm inviting you to join us in the prayer meeting for 12 midnight. Now we're going to be praying for one hour every night throughout this month. Praise God. Is, it, is that serious? Oh, yes, is that serious? Is it because we have reached the season of birth as a nation? And like I told you last week, it is only strategic prayer that will cause. Now, the prayer meeting I'm telling us to pray is not because we feel like we should pray. This is a command from the Lord. He said, throughout the month of November, you're going to release the Hushites or activate. He actually used the word activate the Hushites and the Esthers in your nation. And we are going to begin to see what the hand of the Lord can do, <laughs> praise God. And this is the right of every believer. This is your duty. It's your duty, praise God. Now as we go on, I believe you, you begin to understand what I'm saying. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for your truth. Thank you for your love that you have loved us. It's because you loved us, you gave us your word. And as we walk in your word, we are walking in the light as you are already in the light. So we have fellowship together. And then we begin to see change that we desire take place. Thank you for your wisdom that is coming for today. And throughout this week and throughout this month, our eyes of understanding is being enlightened. We know exactly what you want us to do. And as we do, we see the results of our obedience. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Today, you will not hold back anything that is profitable to us. But we receive from you freely, and we give freely. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Now, turn your Bibles with me to 2 Samuel. 2 Samuel. Now the Lord have said, go and activate the Hushites and the Esthers. Praise God. So 2 Samuel chapter 15. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, glory to God. Now, the background of this story was when Absalom came against David and took the throne from him. And when, when Absalom rose up against David, if you read the story, you find out that David did not fight against his son, Absalom. The moment he heard Absalom was coming, he told everybody, you know what, guys, pack your stuff and let's leave the palace for him. <laughs> Praise God. Now, I don't know what president or what king would just do that simply. I don't know. You know, just... I mean, look, you know what? Let's, let's not fight. Let's just leave the place for him. I'm the king, the commander of the armed forces. 
praise God. But David did that. Now, like I've always said, everything David does, he does by the word of the Lord. If you study the life of David, you would have realized that. Everything he does, he does by the word of the Lord. Now, there are many things I can explain to you that the Lord have taught me concerning that action that David took. You see, because he, when God speaks, or oh, everything you, you read in scriptures, it is the Holy Spirit that brings you understanding. If not, you will not, you will not be able to read the meaning of the things that you read. See, thank you, Holy Spirit. So, so David left the palace. And now, on, as David was going, now I want us to begin to recite. I needed to give you this background story. Absalom was now king. David is in the bush. <laughs> so, all right. First, first, second Samuel chapter 15 and verse 31. Watch this. And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. Did you see that? Now, someone told David, Ahithophel. Who's Ahithophel? You will find out. Praise God. And, and, and let me read it again. And one told David, saying, Ahithophel is among the conspirators with Absalom. And David said, <laughs> O Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Now, Ahithophel was a counselor. He was one of David's counselors. Now, he was one of, you see that when we read that. He was one of the people that when they speak, is as though God have spoken. See? So when they give, when an Ahithophel gives you counsel, you, you just better go carry it out. Because, I mean, it, it's just like God have spoken to you. Now, that's the kind of person Ahithophel was. So when David heard that Ahithophel was, has joined Absalom as one of the conspirators, meaning Ahithophel is going to be one of those advising Absalom. David just prayed a simple prayer immediately here. You see, that's why the Bible says we should be anxious for nothing. But in everything, by prayer, supplication, and with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. When David heard that Ahithophel had joined Absalom, he could have, how can, can you imagine? After all I've done for him, after all the help I helped him, oh, can you imagine? This world is so wicked. Look at, look at this guy. I mean, can, can you just imagine? So now he's, he's turning again with my own son. No, David refused to be anxious. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He said, that's one thing you need to learn. We're still on our life series from the Bible. David refused to be anxious. But what did he do immediately? He prayed a simple prayer. And what's the prayer? He said, Lord, la cosa la prayer. Ah. Notice he said, he called God Lord. Now, when you see the Bible write capital L O R D, he is talking about. The one in charge of the universe. Praise <laughs> God. So, so wait. Oh, you know, I did a teaching one time on the names of God. If, if you, you, can, you can ask for it and we'll send it to you. Very important. See, because sometimes we don't know how we address him. Now, David knew what he wanted to request here. And because he understood what he wanted. Now, because Absalom was sitting on that throne as king and, and Ahithophel was one of his counselors. David wasn't playing right here. He's my, I'm supposed to be the king. No, he knew exactly what to do. So he went to the one who rules over the universe. Now, when he is called Lord, you are calling, you are calling him to judgment. See? So he says, Lord, what was his request? I pray thee. It's a request. The Bible says by prayer, make your request known to him. So he says, Lord, I pray thee, turn the counsel of Ahithophel into foolishness. Wonderful. Now, now I know many of us know the scripture. Many of us have prayed this, this, this prayer in over even little things you know somebody's trying in the office oh god i pray you turn this counsel to foolishness but look at what happened here 
After David prayed that prayer, I told you last week, I said, listen, for you to change your nation, it's not just to pray. After praying, you must hear the instruction the Lord is giving or you must hear the wisdom that the Lord is giving. I told you, I told you last week, I said, we need a high, like, our nation. Now, that, the same goes for every nation. But now we are dealing with our nation because we are in a season of a rebirth. That's why I'm sharing these things with you. So, I told you last week, I said, what we need is a higher level of wisdom. We need to operate in a higher level of... Now, for us to operate in a higher level of wisdom, we need to fellowship more with the one who's higher than us. So, that's why I said we need to, as individuals, come bring ourselves into subjection to him who is Lord. That's the first thing. You need to submit yourself first. In repentance, you need to submit yourself. Now, he prayed this prayer. Now, when he was done praying that prayer, guess what happened next? Let's look at it. And it came to pass that when David was come to the top of the mount, where he worshipped God, behold, Hushai, the Archite, came to meet him with his coat rent and earth upon his herd. Unto whom David said, If thou passest on with me, then thou shalt be a burden unto me. But if thou return to the city and say unto Absalom, I will be thy servant, O king, and I, as, as I have been thy father's servant hitherto, so will I now also be thy servant, then thou mayest then mayest thou for me defeat the counsel of Ahithophel. David just prayed a prayer. He says, Lord, turn the counsel of Ahithophel to foolishness. Now, he, he knew the prayer he had just prayed. So the next, he was waiting for the wisdom of God. The Bible says he went to worship. He was carrying that prayer he just prayed in his heart. So he went to worship. Now, when he went to worship, he saw Hushai. Now, Hushai was one of his men, one of his friends. He saw Hushai. And when he saw Hushai, he, I mean, Hushai just came, look, look, I've come to submit to you. I, 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 you are, I'm loyal to you. And David said, no, 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 Hushai. Listen, if you just follow me, you'll become a burden to me. But there's something I want you to do. I want you to go back and submit to Absalom. To your enemy? David said, yes, go and submit to Absalom. And David said this. He said, this is the one thing I want you to do. What is it? He says, I want you, look at it then. Then mayest thou for me defeat the counsel of Ahithophel. <laughs> Praise God. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the result of the prayer that David prayed. I told you last week, what we need to pray now is strategic prayers. Strategic prayers. Now, this was a strategic prayer that David... You know how come David just didn't pray, Oh God, just throw away Absalom from that throne? <laughs> no. No. You see, nothing just happens by itself. Everything that happens is for a reason. And you see, most times God's children, for example, what happened to David? It was actually a judgment of God for an, a wrong he had done. So this is the judgment time. See, now, even though it was judgment time, David first of all had to submit himself to the Lord. And the Lord began to guide him how to navigate through the season of judgment, his own judgment now. The Lord began to guide him how to navigate through that season and come out victorious still. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, <laughs> I don't know what judgment is on your life. This is all you need to do. Submit completely to the Lord. He will help you even in the season of judgment. In the season of judgment, he doesn't abandon you. So David knew he couldn't pray, oh God, throw away Absalom. No. He knew what was going on. But in the midst of it, he was depending on the Lord for wisdom. And this was the first wisdom that God gave him to carry out. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Our time is up. I'm going to continue to, from here tomorrow. Listen, 
This thing, oh, hallelujah. There are lots of Hushites that God have already set in place. <laughs> We're going to begin to see that tomorrow. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone watching me right now. Everyone going through a season of judgment because of any wrong that they may have done. Lord, I ask today that you remember mercy. And in your mercy, give them counsel. And help them navigate through the season of judgment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they will come out victorious because they trust in you. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.